my dear students today we are going to see about mixer type of inflorescence and special type of inflorescence what is a mixer type of inflorescence when in when an inflorescence produces both racemous characters and cymose character that is a mixer type of inflorescence inflorescence which shows both racemous characters and the cymose characters one at the same inflorescence that type of inflorescence is called mixer type of inflorescence there are two types of mixer type of inflorescence one is thyrosis and another one is verticillaster thyrosis is called raceme of cyme because it contain both raceme inflorescence as well as sign inflorescence both inflorescences are mixed together and are produced as a one inflorescence that is the mixed inflorescence in thyrosus the central axis grows indefinitely and produce lateral pedicellated cymes which are arranged in the racemous manner say you can see this are all the sign inflorescences but they are arranged in the form of racemous manner what is the arrangement of uh, flowers in the raceme raceme inflorescence acropetal fashion so these cymose inflorescences are arranged in the form of acropetal fashion that is the racemous character and also opening of the flower is centripetal these flowers open first then later this later this like that the opening of the flower is from base to top that is also racemous characteristic feature but if you see each group of flowers that is cymose type centrally uh, old flowers can be seen on either side young flowers are there this is the definite type of inflorescence cymose type of inflorescence so in thyrosus both raceme flowers and the same flowers are produce one at the same inflorescence come to verticillaster here the main axis bears two opposite lateral sessile signs at the axil of the node this is the stem at the axil of the node this is the node two lateral branches are produced and each lateral branch produce monocacial scorpioid sign inflorescence so that flowers are crowded around the node exactly so that is the verticillaster or verticill in the verticillaster in the node at the axil of the node to dicacial sign inflorescence will be produced the later branch of each dicacial sign will be converted into monocacial scorpioid sign inflorescence so in the case of verticillaster no racemose type can be seen two cymose type can be seen one is dicacial sign another one monocacial sign in the case of leucus thyrosus can be produced in the case of osimum osimum tulasi but in the case of verticillaster the example is leucus aspera tumbai so that is about the mixer type of inflorescence Let's come to special types of inflorescence in the mixer type of inflorescence both the characters both racemous characters and cymose characters can be exhibited but in the case of special type of inflorescence no racemous character and cymose characters can be seen inflorescence that does not contain either racemous type or cymose type of character characteristic feature that inflorescence is the special type of inflorescence that is uh, entirely different in type of inflorescence in the special type of inflorescence three types uh, 
given one is sayatyam second one is hypandodiam third one konandiyam first you will see sayatyam type of inflorescence it is a special type of inflorescence it is cup like structure it is a cup like structure it consists of small sessile flowers both male flowers and female flowers which are enclosed by green colored common bract called involucra bract cyathium looks like a single flower the male flowers are organized in a scorpioid manner there are several male flowers are produced but only one female flower is produced at the center of the cyathium inflorescence the female flower is produced at the center which is surrounded by several male flowers the male flowers are organized in a scorpioid manner female flower is uh, solitary centrally located with a long pedicel it is having a long pedicel that is present at the center of the inflorescence cyathium inflorescence male flower is represented only by stamens and female flower is represented only by pistil cyathium is actinomorphic morphic cyathium is actinomorphic in euphorbia but cyathium is zygomorphic as far as pedilanthus is concerned in the case of cyathium nectar glands are present in the involucre on the side of the involucre this is the nectar nectar means honey secreting gland honey secreting gland also see on the lateral side of the involucra bract so that is about cyathium inflorescence is a very small very simple diagram given this is the involucra bract green colored involucra bract that covers the whole inflorescence the base of the involucra bract is the receptacle this is the receptacle the receptacle is the common point from which male and female flowers arise male flowers are several in number they are produced in a scorpioid manner just around the female flower only one female flower produced at the center having a long pedicel the male flowers are represented by stamens and female flowers are represented by pistil that's a very short information given about the cyathium inflorescence The second one is hypanthodium inflorescence. Here, the receptacle is hollow, globose structure containing unisexual flowers on the inner wall of the receptacle. This is the hypanthodium inflorescence. It is having a fleshy wall, and the wall is uh, covered fully covered except at the top. There is a where there is an opening present that is called osteo osteo is a opening present at the top of the hypanthodium inflorescence the other part it is closed by the receptacle the receptacle is flush in nature the receptacle is hollow in nature the receptacle is globose structure inside the wall of the receptacle several unisexual flowers are arranged the female and neutral flowers are formed in a mixed manner from middle below but the female flowers are arranged just very near to the ostiole ostiole is covered by several very small bracts so that is the hypanthodium hypanthodium inflorescence can be seen in ficus banian plant fig plant people plant the um, hypanthodium inflorescence can be seen the third one is conandium type of inflorescence it is also a special type of inflorescence here also receptacle is flushy circular disc like and open 
The receptacle protects pistillated flowers. Receptacle produces pistillate flowers are produced. That is the female flowers, and that is surrounded by male flowers, staminate flowers. Staminate flowers can be seen at the periphery of the receptacle. So that is about the gonadium type of inflorescence. So today we have seen mixer type of inflorescence, special type of inflorescence. In the mixer type of inflorescence, two types, cyrus, verticillaster. In the special type of inflorescence, there are three types of um, special type we have seen. One is cyathium, second one hypanthodium, third one conandium. That's all today's topic. Thank you.